sir first of all thanking you for giving me this, this opportunity to introduce myself mm -hmm. my name prakash kumar i am coming from ap okay. i have completed my graduation in the year 2023 in jagalamudi kuppaswamy chaudhary college with a cgpa 8.1 and i have completed my intermediate in sri krishna junior college which is also located at guntur with a cgpa 8.5 and i have done my secondary school level education in my native in beaver dpths with cgpa 9.3 Mm -hmm. And at the final semester of my graduation, I have done an internship uh, of uh, for the role UI developer. The technologies we are using in that HTML, CSS, um, JavaScript, and React JS. Very good. Uh, after my graduation, I came to the Hyderabad to improve my technical skills in Python. I have. Strong technical skills in Python and uh, as, uh, database skills in MySQL and front end knowledge in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I have a framework knowledge also in Django. Okay, very good. Just mention that also. Okay, yes, very good. So, how much you write yourself in Python out of five? So, uh, 3.5. 3.5. Very good. So, what is the use of decision making statements? So, when we want to, to take a decision based on some conditional output. We are using decision making segments, sir. In Python, we have mainly four types of decision making segments. Uh, they are if, if else, and uh, if else if ladder and nested. Okay. What is the purpose of if else if ladder? Depend uh, when we have dependency condition checks uh, at that time, we want to go to if else if ladder, sir. Okay. Can you give an example for dependency checks? Greatest number among three numbers. At that time, we want to go to the if else if ladder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Very good. What is the difference between list and tuple? Yes, sir, list is a data structure which is used to, uh, to store heterogeneous values which follows the order, which is a mutable object and, uh, <coughs> and follows the order. Mm -hmm. uh, tuple is also a, like a list but it is immutable. So, in list and tuple, there is a mutability and immutability difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, do, do we have any other difference than this? Yes, sir, we have a performance difference sir, in list okay. and tuple. Okay, very good. So. Is it shallow copy or deep copy? Sorry sir, it is a shallow copy. How? How it is shallow copy? How it is shallow copy? Man? Sir, it is a... Actually, it is tuple. It is immutable, sir. That's why the address... Okay, Python is not going to allocate different memories. Different memories. How to understand it, right? Very good. So, what do you mean of list comprehension? Oh, when we want to create short way of list, is nothing but a list, uh, okay. list comprehension. So tell me, what do you mean of set? Set is also a data structure which is also used to store heterogeneous values, but it does not follow the order. It does not have index. It is a mutable object, mm -hmm. mutable data structure. Okay. So why it is unordered? Uh, when we are uh, creating a set, the elements are going to the hash function. In hash function, uh, the values are stored by the index, which is given by the hash function. How, how, how it is happening? Can you write? For example, I am having set x is equal to one to three. Yes, sir. So what is happening behind the scenes? Let me know. Set, set. So you need to take curly brace, right, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So what do you mean of generator? Generator is a special function which is using using yield keyword to return multiple values. Okay. Why it is using yield? So instead of using yield, we, when we use uh, return, the fundamental behavior of the return is once it um, return, it can't go to the function and um, it can't uh, resumes the execution. Why? That I means, mean, what is the purpose of going back to the function? We want to return multiple values, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, when we want to return multiple values, mm -hmm. we are using yield keyword because uh, when we use return, we can store all the all those values into one place and we can return it in one shot. Uh, this means um, it is uh, unnecessary use uh, unnecessary wastage of memory, sir, mm -hmm. in memory memory point of view. So that's why the fundamental behavior of the yield keyword is once it returns and uh, coming back to the function and ex uh, resumes the execution. Okay. Okay. So very good. What do you mean of closer? 
closure is uh, remembering the local variable outside of the function how the things are happening behind the scenes yes sir when we want to uh, give some security to the global variables uh, we are going to create closure mm -hmm. good so can you write a recursive function like i want you to find the sum of first and natural numbers by using recursive function okay, yes Mm -hmm. Okay. But, okay. Good. But n less than equal one is only the confusing matter here. There. Okay. No worries.